This is a 900 litre tank with no plumbing, no filtration, no fish. But by the end of this video, it will have all these things. So join me on my three year journey that I had setting up this salt water tank. So with such a big undertaking we have for the next three years, where do we start? Well, we started with the scenery. We ended up getting a bunch of rock and we wanted this to look realistic to something you would see in the sea and we wanted some arches, we wanted it so the fish can go flowing through the rocks and so it to be interesting to look at. So as you can see we placed all the rocks on the table uh, to get a rough idea how we wanted this and we did get a pretty good idea after this point but the one thing we had to learn is how to use this cement uh, glue stuff that glues your rock together this even works underwater, so it's pretty good stuff, but we just used it outside, so it was all ready to put in the tank. Don't worry about looking for it though, I will put this down in the description if you want to buy it. Anything that I use in this video, I will put down in the description for you lovely people. Now that we are done setting up our scenery, we are ready to put in the tank, which by the way, was a big pain in the ass. You can see why I had trouble with this, because at the top there was only this little window gap where I had to put every single rock through. We did not glue the middle pieces all together because that would have been very awkward trying to get that through the gap. Oh and by the way, we are not rich. This was a present for my father. We all got together to save up some money for him. It was a complete surprise. He loved it. And um, yeah, we all put money towards it. I'm still putting money towards it. No regrets yet. Right, so now that we've done that, we're ready to put some sand in. Quite a lot of sand, right at the bottom. So that would be finishing off the scenery for quite a long time. We added more in later. At this point, we was nearly ready to start the plumbing work. Before we do that though, we filled in the top tank with a bunch of salt water. Uh, that we made ourselves just by using tap water and the proper salt that you need for fish tanks. When you do this the salt water is very misty at first but after a few days it does clear up. Right so now that we've done that we're ready for the plumbing work which was very important because if this goes wrong you have 900 litres all over your living room so that wouldn't be good. Alright, so I'm only going to lightly explain this part because otherwise this video will be way too long. But at the moment I'm putting this little piece in the tank right at the corner box bit because this area holds three different pipes. One is for letting the top tank water fall down into the bottom tank. One is for overflow if the tank overflows. And the other is to let the bottom tank water go shooting back up into the top tank. So when assembling this, on our first pipe it had to connect to a roller mat, this cleans the water in the tank and we had to do this complete frankenstein -y thing with the pipe where we had to put different pieces of pipe together, glue them together to make this work, it was pretty crazy. But at that point it was just a plan, we had to glue all this together afterwards which was pretty big experience, this had to be right like I said and otherwise it would be leaking. So uh, we proper took our time with this and watched loads of videos just to make sure we're doing this right. There is still a lot more I could talk about, about the pipe work and I have loads more clips but I'm trying to make this video as interesting as possible so if you guys want to know any more about the pipe work or anything else in this video let me know it down in the comment section. I also have a bunch of tips as well so if you do want to know that let me know down in the comment section I will make that video for you. Toronto. At this point we were testing if it all worked properly and we had no problem, no leaks. With such a big thing like this it was a very proud moment to see no leaks, it's very awesome. But after that we put some accessories in like um, fans, <laughs> some heaters and some pretty awesome bubbles. And then we filled the tank up all the way up with water and then with all that together it makes a wonderful tank. 
at this point we let the water circulate for a while as you can see we got some algae on the rocks that's why it looks darker we added some more nicer rocks in there too we added some at the bottom and after a while we gave it a test and all the tests came out perfect which means we were ready for our first couple of fish this was a big moment for our whole family we were waiting for so long for it so we all cut together to finally get our first few fish we have a pretty cool fish shop where they have all types of fish and even dinosaur statues and stuff you can get but I'm just gonna let you watch the end of this video watching us get our fish with some pretty nice music so I hope you guys enjoy that is it I want to thank you so much for making it to the end of this video it was such a big three year experience and I hope you all enjoyed it this was a big one if you guys have any suggestions on any other videos or you just want to leave a comment or you think we've done something wrong make sure we know because we want to know if we've done something wrong obviously there's a lot to learn about fish tanks it's a very big expensive hobby and any help helps you know um, but there's never one answer in this hobby I've we've had a few problems we've asked a few people and they've gave us all different answers but anyway I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I hope to see you in the next video bye <laughs> You can feel him. You can feel his little mouth. <laughs> <laughs> God, he is good. I didn't think they'd uh, hand feed that quick. <laughs>